we did that demonstration for a region. It has a lot to do with the message our next two guests are hoping to send. They're the authors of a book. It's a bit controversial because it's called The Great Cholesterol Myth. We welcome cardiologist Dr. Steven Sinatra and nutritionist Johnny Bowden to the show. Welcome to both of you. So let's talk about this idea of what you're calling the cholesterol myth. And we can have a little back and forth here because you are mainly trying to say that we're eating too much sugar. Correct. See, that's the problem. I mean, everybody focuses on cholesterol with heart disease. Look, cholesterol is found at the scene of the crime, but it's not the perpetrator. Sugar is the villain in heart disease. That, was, that causes heart disease, not cholesterol. At one point, there were two competing theories about what really caused heart disease. One was that it was fat and cholesterol. The other was that it was sugar. The wrong theory won. It was never fat and cholesterol. They're pretty minor players in heart disease. Sugar, on the other hand, as you mentioned, raises insulin, raises insulin resistance, increases the risk of diabetes. And when you have all those fat cells, they send out inflammatory compounds, which create more damage in the vascular walls, which really precipitate plaque and heart disease. It's been sugar all along, not fat. What I find interesting, you guys take issue with a very standard treatment when it comes to cholesterol, and that's, those are statins. Correct. A lot of Americans are on these. What, what do you take issue with when it comes to the statins that are prescribed? Well, statins are a blessing or a curse. I mean, first of all, for middle-aged men with heart disease, like men between 50 and 75, sure, statins are fine because statins, not only are they cholesterol killers, which I don't believe is the essence of heart disease, but statins thin the blood and they're anti-inflammatories. So if we think of inflammation as the root cause of heart disease, statins do make sense, but only for middle-aged men. For women, like women in this audience, and I have to tell you, I would see one, two, or three consults a week in my office, and women in their 30s, even in their late 20s, who are put on statin drugs, and it's a tragedy because solely they don't on need the basis, these drugs. Solely on the basis of their numbers. Yes. Right? You're yeah. treated, so yes. many internists now, cardiologists, are treating a number, and, and I, a I tend to agree, they're overlooking the other factors that play a part in heart disease. Well, I think you bring up something too. There, there are a lot fewer studies of heart disease in women and what's the good treatment for them. And we need more in women. There's a lot of, of studies that are done in men, a lot of research that's been oh, done Oh, absolutely. In when it comes to heart disease, it's gender-specific medicine. I mean, yeah. women are a lot different than men. I mean, I wrote the book Heart Sense for Women over 10 years ago, and I have to yeah. tell you, women and men are very different when it comes to heart you know, disease. You know, when started but talking where... about the statins, and when they tried to start using them in kids, because kids were having high cholesterol, it, it, was, it really bothered me because it made people focus on curing their problem with a pill instead of what's more important, diet and exercise. You know, Lifestyle. the life skills but, that are that but are. But they all have to go through it. Hey, I'm, I'm over 50 and I'm on a statin, but I realized that's only one part of the equation. That doesn't mean I, 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 I don't have to watch what I eat, I don't have to exercise, uh, try, try to deal better with stress, all of those issues. They all come together. And Absolutely. if, you, if the you're at about home and, and you're looking at your entire profile when it comes to heart disease, sometimes it's not about putting more things in your mouth, aka pills. Mm -hmm. It's about putting less yeah. of this in your mouth because yes, mm -hmm. male, and female heart disease is quite a bit different, but some of the underlying causes, I don't think anyone's Still going to sugar. argue that too much sugar can lead to heart disease in both men and women, the number right. one killer of men and women, and their book is called The Great Cholesterol Myth, and there's good news. Everyone in the audience is going home with their own copy. Yeah. Good deal.